The old mine collapsed after water seeped in. Collapsed? Of course. Then the whole thing makes sense. Hello Fluffy Tails, I'm the Serious Squirrel and welcome back to Gothic. As I get stuck in the tree, I'm going to tell you what we did in the last episode. We found the last focus and got this super awesome Templar armor. And now we are going to the old camp to get the fire magicians to help us. And we'll see how that goes. And I have a slight feeling that I missed something that I wanted to show you guys. Because there is actually a concert of In Extremo in this game. I don't know if you guys know In Extremo in out there because they're a German band and I don't know how many people outside of Germany and Austria and stuff like that know them. But they have a concert, as I said. And at a certain point, and I think this is this point, there is no possibility to see the concert anymore and I kind of am amazed because I was at the old camp all the time to check if they're there but they weren't there any time so yeah it's kind of strange but let's see maybe maybe now maybe the time has finally come to show you guys what I mean. Actually, no. That doesn't look good at all. Hey, shh, be quiet. Hello, Diego. What's the meaning of all this hide and seek business? Haven't you heard? Heard what? The old mine caved in. The fire mages were assassinated, and there are plans to raid the free mine. What? What are you talking about? How could the old mine cave in? One of the diggers who survived it told us that they were digging and they hit an underground river on the bottom level. When the water gushed into the mine, one of the supports broke and the entire upper section collapsed. Only a handful of people managed to escape from the mine. Why are the fire mages dead? That's a long story. Just tell me about it. It's not the first long story I've had to listen to. Well then, luckily I was in the Ore Baron's house when they got the news that the mine had collapsed. Gomez was hopping mad when he heard about the accident, and he was afraid that his position could be at stake. Of course, who controls the ore controls the colony as well. That's right. Since he has no source of income anymore, the goods from the outside world won't come in anymore either. Nobody will work for him if he doesn't get another source of income soon. And that's the reason for the raid on the free mine? To be honest, that's Gomez's only chance to maintain his power. Two hours ago, two dozen guards set out for the free mine. Shit. That's mad. I need to warn the new camp. Then you must hurry up. They'll have almost reached the free mine. But they never get through the fortifications of the new camp. They don't need to get through them. A few months ago, they found a path that leads over the mountains and right to the free mine, and nobody else knows about it. I've seen the guards in front of the locked gates. Stay away from them. They'll attack anybody approaching the camp. They are afraid of somebody avenging the raid on the free mine. But what happened to the fire mages? Cristo and the other mages were the only people in the camp to remain rational. They forbade the raid and demanded a settlement with the two other camps. They forbade Gomez to raid the free mine? Well, yes. Cristo and the others shouldn't have been so self-confident. Gomez didn't trust them anymore, and had them perfidiously assassinated. Whoa. What are you and Milton going to do now? We'll stay here for a while to warn some more friends so they don't bump straight into the guards. But you could do us a favor. Which one? Consider it done. Tell me what you want. Look out for Lester and Gorn. They need to know what happened here. Tell them that the four of us will meet at the same place as always. If okay. I see them before you do, I'll warn them and send them to your meeting point. Thanks, my friend. You really seem to be an all right guy. Go now. We'll meet again later. <sighs> Let's go on. Holy hell. Well, 
No in extrema concert then. Damn. Well, magicians of fire are no longer available, I guess. So let's go back to the magicians of water and tell him. I'm glad you returned. Something terrible has happened. Yeah. Let me guess. The free mine has been assaulted by the guards from the old camp. Nobody saw them coming. Hang on. How? But of course. You found out about it in the old camp. Gorn arrived here just before you did. What could have caused Gomez to dare to take such an aggressive step? He should be aware that such a heinous act can only provoke war. The old mine collapsed after water seeped in. Collapsed? Of course. Then the whole thing makes sense. Gomez has his back to the wall. He's more dangerous than ever. Now that he doesn't have anything left to lose, he'll do anything. Exactly. Gomez has had all of the magicians of fire killed. Had them killed? Why in Beliar's name would he do a thing like that? They were against the attack on the free mine and opposed Gomez. Then we're all doomed. Without the other six magicians, we'll never be able to control the concentrated power of the massive ore mound. But in spite of that, I thank you for passing this dangerous message on to me. When you sent me to the Magicians of Fire, you mentioned there was somebody. Well, I had hoped we could make it without his help, but the way things are developing... Who is he? All right, all right. Many, many years ago. Give me the shortened version, please. Be patient. Well, when we, the Twelve Magicians, created the barrier back then, our magic powers were directed and controlled by a 13th magician. A 13th magician? I thought there were only 12. Most people who did not experience the early days of the colony believe that. This 13th magician was our leader. All this took place before we were divided into the circles of fire and water. But he left the old camp, which was once the only camp of the colony. What is this 13th magician called? His name is Zardus. Hardly anybody remembers the old stories about him. The ones who do just call him the Necromancer. Hmm. Why did he leave the old camp? He started to investigate the invocation of undead and magical creatures. Gomez was not the only one who began to worry. Most of the other magicians opposed him as well, and his unholy deeds. What happened then? Unlike Gomez, he was no butcher, so he avoided the conflict and left. Huh. Where is this magician today? He lives in seclusion, in his tower in the middle of the Orc land. That's just about the southernmost point of the colony. Lovely. I'll make my way to Zardus and ask him for help. He's the only one that can help us now. If he knows no way out or doesn't want to help us. He will. There is one other problem. A problem? Yes. Over the years, we've tried to get in touch with Zardus several times, but it looks like he prefers to remain undisturbed. What does that mean? None of the messengers ever return from his tower. You'll have to find a way to get past his creatures. Looks like this is going to be interesting. Mm, indeed. How will I get past his creatures? If I knew that, I would tell you. I'd advise you to do some research in our library. Maybe you'll find something in the old books about the strengths and weaknesses of magically invoked creatures. I'll rummage through the library, and don't worry, I'll be back. I'll be back. May you return in one piece? Hello. 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 I met Diego and Milton in front of the old camp. That's good news. They want to meet you and Lester at your usual rendezvous. Thanks. There's nothing more valuable than good friends in troubled times like these. You're almost one of us by now. You're reliable. No, that's me. What have you got planned now? Our entire defense strategy will have to be changed. That takes time. Until Lee and his people are ready, I'll join Kord's provisional guard. Are you planning a counterattack? Not yet, but the day will come. If ever you're looking for me, start here and walk towards the mine. I'll be on guard there. Okay. All right. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So we'll go and have a talk with Sardos then. Which means that we possibly should go to... Well, we go to the uh, swamp camp and tell Lester to meet at the rendezvous point. 
That's something we have to do as well. And I think Lester is in front of the swamp camp. He's always there, so it's it's good decision to go here, I think. Because where else should he be? If not here. He could totally be somewhere else. He's totally somewhere else. Or maybe I could sleep in this bed and wait for him to show up. Is that a thing? No. Alright. Well, Lester isn't here, but we have to go south to find out something about Saras. Wait, I forgot about the library. I need to go back to the Water Magicians. Thank God for those runes. I don't know what I would do without them. Let's see... Am I going the right way? This doesn't look like the li- no. This doesn't look right at all. I don't think the library would be down there. Wouldn't make sense. Goddamn little fly. I hate fruit flies. Annoying little bastards. I'm gonna read this book. No. Nothing interesting. Well, where is your library, good Ceteris? Where is your library? Could you tell me? Or do I have to find out myself? This looks like a library. Arcanum Golem. Lots of books. And I don't think that I'm going to read through all of that. Magic ore, secret magic, blah 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 blah. Acarnum golem. Stone golem. This colossus of stone are nearly invulnerable in battle. Swords, axes and bows do not seem to do any damage to these monsters. The only plausible report of a battle against such a leviathan written by a mercenary. He reported how the blunt hit of a warhammer cast Drex in the golem. Okay. Makes sense. Ice Golem. This Ice Golems are somehow related to the Stone Golems, though their physical in substance seems to consist of water. Any familiar weapon seems to slide off and surface of this being. Adventurous wanderers have been warned of the creature's icy breath as well, because it surrounds the unsuspecting with a pillar of ice. Magician of Fire reported an encounter with such a creature, but opponents he didn't see much of a threat in it. But apparently he didn't see much of Okay. According to reports, these fiery beings can convert their victims into a sea of flames with only one touch. Eyes had some effect on the hellish creature. Okay. Well, makes sense, I guess. Question is. Hi. Ah, never mind. I'm not a magician, that's why I will not get runes anyway. Huh. Well, it was a bad choice to be a Templar then. But we will find a way, Fluffy Tales. We always find a way. Don't you worry about it. First off, we have to get there anyway, so that's going to be one hell of work. If you ask me. Because, do you see? The area where the no, Let's talk about something else instead. where the map isn't filled out over over there, here. not here, but the other not filled out area. That's where we have to go. That's orc territory. And yeah, it's going to be fun to fight through there because orcs, lots of them. But maybe we can manage. Maybe we can find a way through a hell of a lot of orcs. I sure hope so. Would be nice to get. Oh, hi, There Lee. was a time when I led a very different life. 
I was one of the best generals of this country. I've spent my whole life fighting for my country. But the nobles didn't like me because the king listened to my advice and they knew I posed a threat to their dirty business. I hadn't counted on their insidiousness. They used the king's wife to get me. I was blamed for her pointless murder. King Robar had no other choice. The services I had rendered my country saved me from the gallows, but they robbed me of my freedom. One day I'll be free again, then I shall return and take revenge. I shall have my revenge. Uh, okay. What do you think about the mine? They've gone too far. They'll be sorry for it. You're the boss of the mercenaries, aren't you? That's right, boy. Uh, I pa yeah, sure, pass. Go on. Uh, well, he just told me his life story and I didn't ask for it. You know what, Fluff... Buff, 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 pff, you know what, Fluffy Tales? Uh, we're going to go to the orc uh, stuff in the next episode, I think. And we're going to leave this one a little shorter than normal. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Come back in the next one. And as always, I'll leave you with Hardy. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>